Hello my friends, we got Mr. Fantastic and uh, this is a fantastic Ha ha ha, wow, this guy is hilarious Opportunity for us to take a look at the new pack that we got in store He has no diamonds and if we're lucky enough, we're gonna be able to give him his first diamonds and if we're super lucky, it's gonna be Shang Tsung But the question is, is it really that lucky? Is Shang Tsung worth it and is it a good pack? All of this and more. But Star and Sky, there is nothing more. Good point. All of this in this video. Yeah. Alright, Shang Tsung MK11 Diamond Pack. Finally. Before, the Shang Tsung was only available for... Uh, for coins, uh, for money, for real money. Now we can get him for souls. Uh, let's see the chances. I actually haven't op take, take a look at this pack yet. We got um, K11 Shang Tsung 4% chance. So basically it's the same as Dark Fate Terminator chance for Dark Fate Terminator pack. Uh, it's a decent chance. It, it's, it's a normal chance. That's nothing special. It has three level up cards and two random cards. Okay, so we got, let's calculate. So we got the chance for every single other MK11 card, 1%. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 10%, ten oh my God, this is garbage. This is ridiculous, I don't like it. I don't like it, the way I would do it. I would give 2% uh, for each MK11 card, which would be 12%, and then maybe 3% uh, for MK11 Shang Tsung, or 5% for MK11 Shang Tsung to get, or like 6% for MK11 Shang Tsung to get it to 18%, which would make it kind of comparable to the diamond MK11 pack, which is normal one. Because this pack also has all those diamonds inside, right? It has Jade, it has Raiden, and it has Cabal. So it makes literally no sense. This pack is absolute garbage. 10% is still better than 9 though. And it has a new Shang Tsung. But I played with Shang Tsung. I played with maxed out Shang Tsung. And I just... I just don't feel like this guy is worth it. He is fun to play. But half of his kit is just a gimmick. Uh, it's nice, but it's not, not very useful. He's healing on special too. He's not the only character that can do it. And uh, my biggest issue with him is if you have a decent account, if you haven't just started playing but you've been playing for a while and you have a lot of mixed out diamond cards and you have some mixed out MK11 cards, then uh, this pack is going to be pretty garbage for you because y you are going to be... Uh, if you have like half of these MK11 cards mixed out, you're going to have like only 6 or 7% chance to get MK11 Shang Tsung. This is, I feel like, the main problem with MK Mobile. There is no other game that I play that has the same dumb system of getting characters. Every single game right now switched to the system where you get a character once and then you have to invest some kind of rank up resources into the character. And those rank up resources you gather uh, through uh, different uh, game modes. Like, uh, same, uh, Shadow Fight. You can get Shadow Energy and upgrade to characters that you actually like. Uh, for, uh, for, for Marvel Goddess of Champions, you get a champion and then you can invest your resources into him. So you can get him, you can get a champion once and already have all the resources ready to rank up the champion. And you can choose which champion to rank up, uh, over the other champion. In Mortal Kombat, you don't have such luxury. You have to, like, most of the game modes give you rewards uh, as just fusions on those champions. So you're not choosing what you want to... You, you can end up with fusion 10 garbage cards and still don't have cards uh, that you want at a decent fusion. And it's apparently... Uh, it's very apparent when they release a new character. And for people who already invested a lot into this game, people who, let's say, paid thousands of dollars to get, for example, other diamonds in the game. As soon as they release a new one, it's 4% chance. Which means, in order to max out MK11 Shang Tsung from this pack, let's say, let's calculate how much souls you're gonna need. To get one of them, you're gonna spend, uh, in general, 10,000 souls. Okay, maybe you will be selling some cards. 
So it's gonna be, let's say, 9,000 9, souls. So to get 11 of them, you will have to spend 100,000 souls. That's just wrong! 100,000 souls, if you were to buy them in the store. Let's check this, the current prices for souls. You get 5,000 for $100, so... 100,000! Would cost you two thousand dollars to get a maxed out Shang Tsung. Looking at that, getting him from ten dollar pack doesn't seem like such a bad value, huh? <laughs> but seriously, okay, you can argue that you can farm souls. You can, if you're really active, you can probably get one hundred thousand souls, maybe in a year and a half. If you're really farming every day, you can get 100,000 souls. Two years! Let's say two years, you can get 100,000 souls for free if you're a free-to-play player. So you get, you need two years to max one character. Okay, you're gonna get a bunch of other golds and diamond cards uh, in the process. But that's not the point. The point is you can't just... If you, if you don't want the rest of them, you can't just focus on Shang Tsung. That's, that's my biggest issue with this game. So I'm not going to be going for this pack because... Uh, actually, I might go on it on my iOS account. I'm still, I'm still not sure. Maybe I'll wait for it to go in discount. But honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Shang Tsung. He's not that great. He's not game-changing. He's going to be probably better on the newer accounts. But uh, he's definitely not my favorite uh, MK11 card. Okay, I'm going to shut up and just open the pack. Because that's what you're here for. You don't care. What I have to say, you just want to see me spend all my souls and get garbage. Okay, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, so we can open 13 of these packs, I think. If we get lucky. And so, uh, can we get Mr. Fantastic his first diamond? Let's see. Imagine if it's gonna be Shang Tsung from the first pack. That's gonna shut me up really well. Okay, if I get Shang Tsung from this pack opening, you're getting 1,000 star coins. If I don't, I'm gonna be usual 500. Let's see what happens. He can use some good golds as well. Yeah, these are this is some decent gold cards. This is definitely a very fresh account. I don't think he ever opened any. Okay, he, he did. He did open a few packs. Then I assume uh, all the gold cards came from Faction Wars or a couple gold packs. But on a new account, to get 5,000 souls, that's pretty difficult. He's been probably running quests day and night. Oh, soul medallion, that's nice. Okay, so far nothing. I really, really can't in good conscience recommend this pack. At least not, maybe it will go on sale at some point, but I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna go on sale this year. However, I thought that about Dark Fate pack, but then it went on sale for 200 souls, so you never know. Wait till next Black Friday, maybe we're gonna have Shang Tsung pack on sale, guys. But honestly, if you, if you just want to grow your collection, I would just go for Dark Fate pack or Guardian pack, because they have higher chance to get diamonds, and I think they have more level up cards inside as well. Just a better value overall. For the same price. And you have a chance to get any diamonds, so not just MK11 ones. So it will be more... it will be growing your collection more balanced. Because I'm pretty sure you can get MK11 car... Oh, ho, 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 yeah, baby! We get MK11 Jade. One of the best MK11 cars, in my opinion. Definitely a better pull than Shang Tsung, in my opinion. She's gonna be so much more useful, especially at Fusion Zero for newer players. She's gonna dominate! Heal from dots, uh, all those evasions... She has so much more value than Shang Tsung. That's good! Let's get another one, though. Can we get another diamond? If I were to choose, I would get Scorpion. Scorpion would be even, even better for, for a new account. At Fusion Zero, he just dominates. And if you can put Scorpion and Jade together... Isn't it sad? I'm opening Shang Tsung Diamond Pack, hoping to get Jade or Scorpion, not to get Shang Tsung. That's just mad, man. 
I mean, it would be fun to get Shang Tsung. Definitely fun to play. And also, again, don't listen to me. If you like Shang Tsung, guys, go for him. Don't listen to me. I I'm just, I'm just speaking more about efficiency. But not everything is about efficiency. Sometimes you just, you have to play the game. Yes, MK11 Sub Zero, another one of the best MK11 cards. So good. You want to play the game the way it makes you happy. If uh, if you don't agree with my way, then just play it your way. As long as you're happy, it's all good. Can we get another one though? Oh my god, if we get another one, I still get you 1000 star coins. If we get diamond number 3, no matter what diamond it is. Another diamond, 1000 star coins. Not even kidding. God, I, I took so much crap out of this pack and now I get so, so, some good good luck in the diamonds. And now I have to be like, this is a good pack. This is a good pack, definitely. Is it me or Shinnex just dropping like crazy from these packs? I got so many Shinnex on my beginner account and this account now got three Shinnex already. What the hell? Come on, let's get a Scorpion for a full MK11 You can't even imagine how good this is, getting fused 1 MK11 Sub-0. Let's make it interesting. If I get another diamond, it's gonna be 2,000. You got 1,000 so far. Let's see if we can get 2,000. This is fun. I'm having fun. I wanna get a full MK11 team now. We have two packs to open. Two packs, come on. Can we get another diamond? That's gonna be insane. Last chance. Ah, I wish I had 50 extra souls, but I don't. Sucks. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's get 2,000. Can we do it? Is it another Sub-Zero? No, it's another Shinnok. Of course, I should have known. I should have known. All right, getting three diamonds out of 5,000 souls is insanely lucky because normally you get one out of 4,000 souls. That's the odds for this pack. We got three out of five. That is amazing. Look at that, the Jade and Sub-Zero. And you can put them together with... I don't even know what you can put them together with. With Shinnok, I guess, because you got so many of them. Yeah, this is a good opening. I like it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what was your luck with Shang Tsung Pack and what do you think? Is it worth it or not? I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell so everyone can hear. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.